Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games and another bat wrap and a different neck rock and force from Dave this time. Uh, we picked the missions from the cards and it was uh, Eternal War Mission and it was Scorched Earth. And I rolled Vanguard Strike Deployment Map. And I've chosen this deployment zone. I will be going second unless I can seize, which I will do in a minute after we've put the armies out and spoken about the armies. But I've got my two there, the two in the centre of there, and those two there. Basically, you get a point for each objective you control at the start of a battle round from the second battle round. Uh, if you control your opponents, you can control it or raise it. If you raise it, it gives you three points and then disappears. Uh, so it will all be down to, uh, can we get each other's uh, objective markers in each other's deployment zones and who can control centre of the board. Uh, right. That's it, I'll be coming back for your army list. Oh. Hi Dave, uh, what what have you got in your list today? Uh, well, I'm using a lot of proxies today. Um, this is three units of 10 Immortals, all with the Tesla. Yeah. Um, I've got Imhotep Stormlord as my um, Warlord. Um, he's going to represent a Cryptek, and that's going to represent a Overlord, I believe it is. Um, I'll just double check that. Um, yeah, no, Lord. I've got a unit of eight um, Tomb Blades, a, a Triarch Stalker with the um, Heat Ray equipped to it, the um, Annihilation Barge with a um, Gauss attached to it. Uh, two um, Doomsday Arcs and these are f going to be three Doom Saves. Yeah, for that, for that nice little uh, heat of death ray uh, uh, stratagem that causes more wounds. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the idea behind it. It's something I've never tried before, but. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll go over to the Orcs. It's a triple battalion. First battalion's got my war, war, bo war boss and the weird boy, and three units of 30 boy, boys and one unit of 11. Uh, two of the units have boss knobs with claws, and each of the units have also got tank buster bombs in them. Uh, so then I've got a second detachment, which is a Dreadwar detachment and the Bad Moons detachment. Uh, and that's got two sh shocker tank guns in there. It's got my looters and it's got two lots of 20 Gretchen and one got a lot of 10 Gretchen. Uh, then I've got my Cheeky Zoggers, which is the Grot Specialist mob. And in there I've got my big mech custom mega armor custom force field we've got all that and a weird boy i've got three units of 10 gretchen i've then got eight smasher guns uh i've used some stratagems at the start i'm down to 14. i use the the biggest boss for Clever Spanner, I use the Dreadwire Detachment uh, command point. I've got the point for the power claw on the war boss. I've got a point for the souped up the shock attack gun on one of the shock attack guns. And that's it. We'll go to, to deployment, come back after deployment. Necrons have deployed all over here. Orcs. I haven't left much space. 
and look of deploy there. It will be Necrons to go first, unless I can get the magic imps symbol on the dice for that six. Nope, Necrons to one. Coming up, straight up. So the uh, Doom size moved up to there. They they advanced. Uh, no, they yeah. just moved. Yeah, no, they, they advanced. They advanced. Yeah. You rolled sixes on the advance for them. And they stayed still. And that moved. Yeah. Uh, Necron's shooting turn one. Coming so. Necron player using this stratagem. And um, and because of my war, are you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, because of my warlord trait, um, which is hypological strategist, um, I get to roll a d6 each time I spend a command point, um, yeah. and on five plus point five plus that command point is immediately refunded. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. Yeah, because so basically, right, right there is where he, he's going to target it, and we've worked it out that uh, there are six squads in uh, affected. So let's do the, 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 the human skinned ones. Yeah. So you. Right. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 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 And the full plus that unit suffers 3d3 mortal wounds. So let's see. Three, four, five, six mortal wounds. That was on the closest one, wasn't it? It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's all one unit, yeah. but as long as it's. So, so that's the first unit. The green unit. Yeah. Um, no. No. Blue unit. Yeah. yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Um, might as well do him. Yeah, we'll... uh, I'll get minus one. But wait for me. Yeah. He's a character, isn't he? Yeah, he's a character. No. no. Minus one to the Warlord. <laughs> no. Orange Gretchen. Yes. Three, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, three, yeah, eight. Sorry, you said six then. Yeah, well, I just did, did the first two and then I was got. So, right, so that's. There's nothing here. Did you do the no, you, you missed on the green ones, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the uh, amalgamated targeting data finished. We'll come back after the rest of the uh, next one's shooting. The uh, Doom Sides got rid of a big chunk of the green ones. The Tomb Blades, the Annihilation Barge, and the two do Doomsday Arc shot into the red. Unit and got rid of a big chunk of them. They shot into the green ones as well and got rid of some. I'm, I, I did breaking heads on them. I've got one left, and of course, I'm going to green tide them. But that was a pretty good turn by Necron's turn one. I'll come back for Necron turn two. So I green tided the green ones and put them over there. Uh, I was looking at maybe charging that little unit over there with the green tide ones, but I'm thinking this plane's only got two ways to go. He can go this way or he can go that way uh, on his turn. So I'm going to fall. If he comes, he can't go this way now. I'm pushing him away from my units that way which is the idea uh, and it will take him longer to get back round uh, but I, I jumped them as well uh, 
just to block out that area and make him fly the other way. Uh, yeah, I'm going uh, into my uh, psychic phase. I've jumped the grots in there, just make doubly sure he can't get that plane going that way. Uh, and that they've got to go the other way, for, which is ideal for me. Uh, go into my shooting. Right, that's the end of the orc phase. Uh, shooting was pretty impressive. You got rid of three flyers, the unit of 10 warriors there, and the, crypt, uh, the immortals, and the crypt tech in shooting. Yeah, so. Crypt tech in shooting. And. Overlord in. Uh, the, 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 yeah. Both green sided boys charged in to the Overlord. Uh, yeah. Between the boss knob and the boys, they, they managed to it's just kill him in charge. He's not been the best so it will be going over to all, uh, Necron's turn two. You got the Overlord back up? Or the yeah, Overlord. Yeah. Overlord back up. He's moved the. Then he's moved the. Triumph Stalker. He's moved the. Two blades, move them up and the... Yeah, he's moved up a little bit. Oh, the Annihilation Barge have moved there. And they've just sort of moved around a little bit and... There will be Necrons shooting. Turn two. A lot of shooting into the green boys over there from the Warriors and the... Everything and... I'm probably going to have to auto pass morale there. Uh, these are going to die to morale, and I made a six up. I got it. I made up a five up involve say from me doomsday arc on that by rolling the six. Uh, you scored. Well, I'm still going to do an assault. So yeah, so you, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. Beginning your turn, you scored one, two, three. Yeah. So plus. Plus one from the first turn. So it's for you. Yeah, so it's four. four. Yeah, and it'll be whatever to me on my turn. Yeah. Triarch Stalker and the Overlord charged in, wiped a couple of boys out, and the boys in return wiped out the Overlord, put a wound on the. No, I didn't put a wound on the Triarch Stalker in the end, you no, saved you it, didn't you? Yeah, so, uh, at the moment, it stands four, four to, to one. Uh, but my turn, I'll gain three points, and then. Do you get that one? Yes, because oh. he's, uh, I've got one model on there, and he's infantry, mm. he's troops, so he'll, he'll get it. Uh, so it'll be four, four, and orcs shooting, coming straight up. Right. Those moved up and advanced it there. He's moved over just to make sure they can do Got shield and that. So they got rid of the, my boss knob got rid in this green unit got rid of the overlord. We've taken the triarch stalker down. The looters and the sags took care of the middle uh, tomb blades and my mech guns took care of the other unit of warriors, uh, immortals. Uh, I did get on well, my last mech gun 12 wounds into this but with the quantum deflection he was able to uh, bypass all, all 12 of them so we're going into a Necron turn three and be right back on so you move the annihilation barge over there shot into a grotch got rid of a few of them they're going to lose a few more uh, oh seven, seven eight uh, you lose another four from the grotch Lost one mech gun, and that, that's pretty much it. So, at the moment it stands six to four to Necrons. 
all turn free and we'll see what happens so after a bit of thought dave moved the tuesday arc over here to get the line of sight on the orcs over there left the warriors on holding him moved him attack up there to use Imitech's uh, Storm Lord, Lord ability and he did mortal wounds to three of the mech guns. Uh, the uh, the barge uh, got rid of one of these. Yeah, the barge got, the Doomsday Art got rid of one of the orcs. Uh, my, Weird boy's got one mortal wound left, and it's Orc's turn. Four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And at the moment, it's seven, uh, seven all. Right. My looters shot into the Doomsday Arc and got rid of that. The sag here. Got rid of some of the warriors. Uh, my warlord, who I they jumped over onto that objective, shot and missed the warriors and charged Illuminal and took no, took, no. Took, took him out in one shot. Uh, Imatech uh, and took Imatech out in one, in one round of combat. Dave tried the uh, strategy to get him back up on the four plus, but he, he rolled a three plus, so he d didn't come back. So at the moment, it's standing seven points to six. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. I would have got three points there, wouldn't I? Four, yeah. four. So 11 points to seven. seven. 11 points to seven yeah. to the Orcs. Uh, we go into Necron's turn five and see what happens. Right, we went and carried on, uh, I, and in turn six, I finally wiped Dave, and because I was controlling that objective there, I raised it, and that gave me 21 points. And Dave, you scored eight, and but up to turn four. It was it was close. It was just turns four, five, and six. I was able to put more points, and with with that one in the last round, putting three points on, it, it just widened the gap. No, I didn't. I didn't bother uh, moving and grabbing all, all the points because it was. Uh, we knew what the result of the game was, and and it was a tough old game. And and Dave started well. It's just a. I, my firepower eventually got me through the game. Right, and my, my dice rolling got worse. <laughs> uh, your, your dice rolling in some parts just let you down, didn't it? But once I got rid of the flyers and I, I was able to get get into the, the immortals, so I, I was able to control the game a bit better. It was just took me two two and a bit turns to to get gain that control of the board. Mm. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.